What if someone told you that your first $100,000 takes eight years to accumulate, but your second $100,000 takes only half that, while your third takes just three years without you changing how much you invest or taking on more risk? Most people think building wealth is linear, save $10,000 per year for 10 years and you'll have $100,000. But that's not how compound interest works. The reality is far more powerful and surprising than anything they taught you in school. What you're about to discover is called the 843 rule, and it's the mathematical secret that explains why the first decade of investing feels painfully slow while the second decade feels like magic. And once you understand this rule and the math behind it, you'll never look at your investment timeline the same way again. Before we dive into the 843 rule, we need to understand why most people quit right before the magic happens. They look at their account after three or four years of diligent saving and see modest growth. They feel discouraged because the numbers don't seem impressive. So they stop investing, or worse, they pull their money out to chase something that promises faster returns. This is the compound interest illusion. The early years feel like you're getting nowhere, so you assume the strategy isn't working. But what's actually happening is that you're building the foundation for exponential growth that will blow your mind in later years. The problem is that humans think linearly while compound interest works exponentially. We expect steady, predictable growth. But compound interest starts slow, builds momentum, and then explodes in ways that seem almost impossible. This is why understanding the 843 rule is so crucial. It gives you a roadmap for what to expect so you don't quit during the slow, early years when the real magic is being set up. The 843 rule is a simple framework that describes how long it takes to accumulate each successive $100,000 when you're investing consistently at a 10% annual return. Your first $100,000 takes approximately eight years, your second $100,000 takes only four years, your third $100,000 takes just three years. After that, each additional $100,000 comes faster and faster. This isn't magic or market timing. This is pure mathematics, the inevitable result of compound interest working on an increasingly large base of capital. Let's run the actual numbers. Say you invest $625 per month at a 10% annual return. After eight years, you've contributed $60,000 of your own money, but your account has grown to approximately $100,000. That extra $40,000 came from compound interest. After four more years, 12 years total, your account hits $200,000. You've only contributed an additional $30,000, but your account grew by $100,000. Why? Because now you have $100,000 working for you, generating returns that get reinvested and compound. After just three more years, 15 years total, your account hits $300,000. You contributed another $22,500, but your account grew by $100,000 again. The snowball is rolling faster now. This acceleration continues. Your fourth $100,000 might take two and a half years. Your fifth might take two years. By the time you're accumulating your tenth $100,000, it might only take six to nine months. Charlie Munger famously said that the first $100,000 is a bitch, but you gotta do it. He understood that first $100,000 is the hardest money you'll ever accumulate, but it's also the most important. Here's why. When you're starting from zero, almost all of your account growth comes from your contributions, not from investment returns. If you invest $500 per month for a year, you'll have about $6,000, plus maybe $300 to $400 in returns. The returns feel insignificant. But once you hit $100,000, the dynamic completely changes. A 10% return on $100,000 is $10,000. That's nearly two years of $500 monthly contributions happening automatically. Your money is now working as hard as you are. This is why so many people give up before reaching that first $100,000. They don't realize they're quitting right before the exponential curve kicks in. Understanding the 843 rule isn't just about mathematics, it's about psychology. When you know what to expect, you're far more likely to stick with the strategy through the difficult early years. Most people quit because they compare their progress to others. They see someone bragging about making $50,000 in the stock market and feel like their $5,000 gain is pathetic. They don't realize that person might have $500,000 invested while they only have $50,000.
The 843 rule reframes your expectations. Instead of feeling discouraged that your account is only growing by $5,000 per year in the early stages, you understand that this is exactly what's supposed to happen. You're in the eight-year phase, building the foundation. The rule also shows why starting early is crucial. If you start investing at 25, you could hit your first $100,000 by 33, your second by 37, and your third by 40. By 50, you could easily have over $1 million. But if you wait until 35 to start, you're pushing all those milestones back a decade. Let's look at how the 843 rule plays out with different investment amounts, assuming 10% annual returns. With a $500 monthly investment, you accumulate your first $100,000 in 9.5 years, the second in 4.5 years, and the third in 3.5 years or 17 years total. After 20 years, you've contributed $120,000, but your account is worth $400,000. That's $280,000 in compound growth. With a $1,000 monthly investment, you achieve your first $100,000 in six years, the second three years later, and the third in two and a half years, or 11 and a half years total. Your fourth $100,000, it only takes another two years. After 15 years, you've contributed $180,000, but your account is worth over $500,000. That's $320,000 in compound growth. With a $2,000 monthly investment, you accumulate your first $100,000 in four years, the second in two years, and the third in one and a half years, or seven and a half years total. After just 10 years, you've contributed $240,000, but your account is worth over $400,000. Notice the pattern? The more you can invest early, the faster you move through the 843 progression. But regardless of how much you invest, the pattern holds. Each successive $100,000 comes faster than the last. The 843 rule becomes even more powerful with drip or dividend reinvestment plans. When you automatically reinvest dividends, you're adding fuel to the compound interest fire. A $100,000 portfolio yielding 3% annually generates $3,000 in dividends per year. If you reinvest those dividends, they buy more shares, which generate more dividends, which buy more shares. This dividend reinvestment accelerates the 843 timeline. Your second $100,000 might come in three and a half years instead of four. Over decades, this acceleration can add hundreds of thousands of dollars to your final portfolio value. But the 843 rule only works if you avoid these mistakes, stopping contributions. The rule assumes consistent investing. If you stop after hitting $100,000, you'll dramatically slow your progress. Panic selling during downturns. Market crashes are inevitable. Keep investing through downturns, buying more shares when prices are low. Taking money out. Every withdrawal steals from your future compound growth. That $10,000 you pull out today could be worth $50,000 in 20 years. Chasing returns. The 843 rule is based on consistent 10% returns. Constantly jumping between investments will likely cause underperformance. What makes the 843 rule truly mind-blowing is that the acceleration doesn't stop at three. Your fourth $100,000 might take two and a half years. Your fifth might take two years. By the time you're accumulating your tenth $100,000, it might only take six to nine months. This is why wealthy people seem to get richer, faster, they're further along the compound interest curve. They're not necessarily making better decisions or taking bigger risks, they're just benefiting from having a larger base of capital that's compounding. The 843 rule isn't a get-rich-quick scheme. It's simply the mathematical reality of how compound interest works when you invest consistently over time. But understanding this rule changes everything. It gives you realistic expectations for your investment journey. It helps you stay disciplined during the slow early years, and it shows you exactly why that first $100,000 is so crucial. The question is, are you willing to put in those first eight years to reach $100,000, knowing that the second $100,000 will only take four years and the third will only take three? Most people aren't. They quit after two to three years because they don't see dramatic results, but you're not most people. You now understand the 843 rule and you know that the slow start is exactly what's supposed to happen. Where are you in your 843 journey? Drop a comment below and let me know what milestone you're working toward. And if this video changed how you think about compound interest, 
smash that subscribe button. We publish fresh breakdowns weekly on practical strategies that help you grow your wealth. Your financial future depends on understanding how compound interest really works. The 843 rule is your roadmap. Now you just need to follow it. See you on the next one.